with Chief Meteorologist Jay Cardosi. All right, gang, hold on tight. We have big, big changes on the way the next couple of days. We're talking a huge temperature change from what's going to be a very warm day tomorrow to boom, those numbers crashing as we move into Wednesday. And that big temperature change is going to bring us some impact weather as we move into most notably tomorrow night in the form of showers, perhaps even a few thunderstorms moving across the region. Right now, it's just kind of cloudy and cool, something we've seen all day long. 49 degrees, and with that humidity ramped up a little bit, it's got that moist feel to it. It just kind of, eh, you know, it just kind of goes right through you. It just makes you shiver out there. A southwesterly breeze in here around three miles an hour. We're talking mid to upper 40s top to bottom across the region right now. Uh, very uniform conditions and with the low clouds in place, these numbers are going to hold fairly steady the next several hours. It'll be a dry evening, just a cloudy, chilly Monday evening. You can see all those low gray clouds across the better part of our area. And as a result, we're going to hold on to that scenario right through midnight, a little bit after that as well as temperatures kind of hold steady in the middle and upper 40s across the region in town anywhere from 48 to 49. So any outdoor plans, just grab the jackets. Umbrellas will not be needed uh, until tomorrow night. And the reason why we're watching this system moving into the Pacific Northwest, we have a lot of jet stream energy carving into uh, sections of let's say Oregon, Washington, as well as Idaho, Nevada, and all that energy is racing in our direction. What it's going to do is spin up a big storm system that's going to move its way across the northern United States and the trailing cold front as it approaches late tomorrow, tomorrow night, it's going to kick off quite a few showers and storms across about the eastern one half of the lower 48. And the farther south you go later tomorrow, into tomorrow night. Number one, we have jet stream energy. We also have a lot of uh, instability. Those two will kind of join forces to create what could be a big severe weather outbreak. Greatest threat for that severe weather, western Tennessee through Mississippi and points off to the southwest. See that red zone? That's a moderate risk for severe weather in that area from Memphis and points southward there could be some intense long track tornadoes. Not good news right there. Late tomorrow and tomorrow night. A little bit farther off to the north, northeast, we too will have a chance for a few showers and storms. And a couple of them could be strong, but I don't think we're going to see a huge severe weather outbreak. Hey, here's tomorrow. Boy, what a day, right? We're going to see a mix of sun and clouds. It'll turn breezy. The clouds will thicken up late in the day. But the day itself looks dry and look at those highs, middle to upper 60s tomorrow afternoon. Then as the front approaches tomorrow night late, showers and thunderstorms become likely in our region. And as that thing passes through here, that front, yeah, a couple of cells could be strong. On a scale of one to five, our threat minimal. It's a one. We could see a couple of cells that have some gusty winds and really that should be just about it. Here's the forecast tonight. Cloudy, cool, temperatures holding in the middle and upper 40s. Your detailed forecast for tomorrow, a mix of sun and clouds as we're in the warm air ahead of that cold front all the way up to 69 degrees tomorrow afternoon. Front moves through late tomorrow night and generates showers, even a few thunderstorms. Tuesday night that rains out of here by Wednesday morning, but Rick look at the temperature drop. We're just in the low 40s for highs Wednesday, despite a lot of afternoon sunshine, even colder on Thursday before we come out of it back to 60 Friday and Saturday the weekend. A lot of dry time, but I think it's going to be bookend by rain chances early Saturday mm -hmm. and again late Sunday and Sunday night. Aside from that, a dry weekend in store. Hmm. Okay. okay. We'll watch Not it bad. close. All right.